Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a virtual on-screen home button to your iPhone. This will work on any iPhone and is a built-in function of iOS, although this video is geared towards those of you on an iPhone 10, which no longer has a physical home button, so many of you might find this of particular interest. So the feature I'm discussing is called Assistive Touch. Assistive Touch brings you an on-screen home button and I have assigned a quick shortcut to it via the side button via triple click. So I will show you how to enable both of these functions after I demonstrate the feature. But first, triple click on the side, and now you see the home button's appeared over here, um, which can be moved around your screen wherever you want. Let me activate it by tapping on it, and you can see here's your home button. So a single tap there brought me all the way back, and then it closed the screen. You can also access it via a force touch rather than having to tap and then click on the, click on the home or double tap, you know. You can do a force touch entry. So if I, let me go back a couple, let me force touch this. See it in the initial, now let me try a force double click, which is a little bit, takes a bit more practice to do, but let's give it a shot. And there is my uh, task switcher. So now let me force, uh, as you see, so let's say I'm tired of the home button there, I can, oops, I tapped it one too many times. All right, so it's on, it's off via the triple click. Let me put it back on again. Let me uh, double tap with a force touch. Oops. And now let me show you how Well, let me first show you some extra features you have as well. Um, in addition, of course, to the normal home button functionality, you have, um, uh, you can do screen rotation lock, volume control, so let's say you, uh, your volume controls are broken, you can do that. Uh, you can uh, access reachability with this, SOS, screenshots, um, a bunch of features with this. Another handy thing is you can, uh, is accessing control center because there's your control center because the only way to access it normally is now is to swipe from the top which is not so easy with one hand because of the tall screen so you can do it with reachability like that and then or you could just go here control center so that way you still have that um, one-handed access here, control center. So very simple, very nice feature. Again, let me give you another quick demonstration. Uh, double tap. I'm going to go somewhere here, home. Now let me that was with two force touches. Now let me show you how you enable that functionality. So you're gonna access it by going to settings. So let me get into settings, and then you're gonna go into uh, general, and then accessibility. Over here. And I added it to the side button. See there's an accessibility shortcut you know, and the shortcut is always going to be assigned to this button here. And these are the things you could assign as a triple click shortcut. Assistive touch, uh, the zoom function, voiceover, etc. So I have assistive touch assigned to it. So if I go back over here, you're going to see assistive touch. It, right now it says on. If I triple click, you see now it says off. And um, if I click under assistive touch menu, you can see some of the other things you can change about it and how it works. So um, I'm going to turn it back on again. Now let me single force touch it. And there we go. Uh, so anyway, that concludes this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. 
Please share this video with your friends if you think it'll help them too, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Thank you for watching.